Hello, it's Dan Brandex Hill here again. Um, if you look very closely, you can see I've done shit all on the bike. So it's been sitting in my shed since the last video. Um, oh wait, no, I added some pipe cleaners and a Volkswagen cable. That's about it. Um, I'm just going to show you today how to check a spark on your motorbike, bike for car, whatever. Um, firstly, you're going to want to locate what the problem is. It's going to be out of three things. It's going to be fuel, mechanical, or electrical. Okay, Fuel is from the carburetor to the fuel tank, anything getting the fuel into the engine. Electrical is going to be spark, going to be coil, um, alternator, anything like that. Mechanical could be any all the gears, crankshaft, con rod, piston, anything that really moves. Um, it stopped running a little while ago, just I don't know what happened. So I'm just going to show you anyways. So good luck. Alright, firstly let's remove the spark plug lead. This is just checking if your spark is there, just seeing if it is electrical. And now you've got to get something that's going to fit over there. You can get your spark plug out without wrecking the thread or wrecking the spark plug. Okay, look at that. Uh, I've got the spark plug out. Firstly, you're going to want to inspect the spark plug. You just check if the gap's right, which it looks pretty good. Check it's not too black and sooty. If it is black and sooty, that probably means that the fuel is coming in either too rich or too lean so you're going to have to adjust the carby, watch my other video for that um, and also if it is black it probably does mean your engine's worn out a bit with the might have to get a rebuild soon um, okay now let's check if it is the spark we'll, pl we'll plug it back into the hood sorry it's kind of hard to Film and work on your motorbike if you haven't done this before. Okay, see, so it's got it plugged in. Now this is the positive ground, the positive running through this wire, and then the negative is the whole body of the engine frame. So you're gonna want to find a bare bit of metal to hold it up against. Um, sorry about the. F okay, I had to do that without holding the camera, but I found out there was a spark. So it's definitely not the spark insist the electronics that's a problem. Um, you're going to want to smell it, see if there's fuel on there, to see if the carb is working, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to pretend that spark didn't happen. I'm going to show you what to do. Okay, uh, get your spark plug in. Uh, this, is, this is something you should do every time you take a spark plug out. doesn't mean it's probably not going to help with spark, but... Um, Alright, get your wire brush, which I'm assuming you have. Uh, get your spark plug and just sort of get the wire brush all over the end of the spark plug. Get all the soot off, all the black off, and a little. It's not going to focus, stupid thing. Um. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sorry. The gap and in there, the you're going to want to just get every little bit of soot out, okay? And yeah, the, well, the spark plug should be, all be good. Um, most people would just buy a spark plug every time something breaks, but you know, it doesn't really need to happen. You can waste all your money on them. And most spark plugs are pretty much the same, anyways. Okay, so let's check the rest of your electricals. This is probably one of the worst electrical systems I've ever seen, mainly because I made it. Um, it's just some parts from a Volkswagen Beetle. Uh, connected to a coil off the CT125 which this engine came out of and it's kind of hard to tell whether the coil is the problem but you gotta if it isn't sparking that could be the problem so you can buy a new one or you can just try and fix that one often if the coil goes you can't fix it it's just gone and then if you come over here um, check all your other electrical connections, often they'll wobble loose, especially with something so dodgy like this. And this is where your alternator is. If you take these two screws out, take this off, you'll see a coil and magnets. 
and they spin around together and make electricity. And yeah, well that's pretty much all that does, so that can often be the problem and that's annoying to fix because that's expensive. And this is the other thing here, the points. If you take this off, there'll be little clickety things like that. And that tells the bike when to spark. And if they're not working, you're going to have to adjust those. Um, I'm not going to show you how to do that because that's just annoying. And you're going to have to look that up yourself, so I might make a video some other time.